Yeah. Wait, so you're a splitter. Oh, I, I am a splitter. I've been known to do the splits. Uh, no. We're good. <laughs> wait, split on the dark brown skin, pop that ass in the dark. Yo. <laughs> what is this show? <laughs> wait, pop that <laughs> and say, and say, and say like, yeah. And say like, yeah, bitch. Hey, what's up you guys? Yes, today we're going to be talking about some more creepy deaths. And these deaths all take place at gas stations. Now, I know you're probably thinking, Shane, gas stations are not that scary. I mean, what's so scary about them, right? Well, just think about the fact that while you're pumping gas, you are standing next to hundreds of gallons of gasoline that are incredibly flammable. And if any kind of spark or cigarette or lighter gets near it, the entire street corner will blow up into flames. Yeah. That's fucking scary. Well, today we're going to be talking about some of the scariest moments caught on security camera footage at gas stations. And I'm warning you, some of them are very intense. Now, this first clip I'm going to show you is fucking insane. Now, this is a video of an accident that involved five cars at a gas station. And the footage is being shot on a dash cam of the car that caused the accident. And it is crazy. Check it out. part is that guy survived and nobody died one person was slightly injured but that's it but unfortunately this next guy was not so lucky now this happened in brazil when a 38 year old man was working at a gas station and he was replacing a fuel pump now you can see him popping out of the manhole in the ground and then this happens check it out now i cut that clip in half the real clip shows the guy falling from the sky and hitting the ground and it is one of the most disturbing things i've ever seen obviously i did not show it in this video but the police have no idea how this happened or why this happened and unfortunately that man lost his life now fuel tanks and gas pumps aren't the only dangers at a gas station most gas stations are right off a huge busy highway and sometimes things can fly from the highway and hit the gas station and in 2006 that happened when a huge tire from a semi truck flew into the gas station and then this happened. I know. Fuck. First of all, the guy survived, so thank God. Second of all, holy shit, that literally looked like a cartoon. Like the way his body like totally caved in underneath the tire. Literally insane. I cannot believe that guy survived. I can't believe he's alive after that. I don't understand how that happened, but I will literally never ever feel safe at a gas station. <laughs> ever again. Now this next accident I'm going to show you is just as crazy but in a different way. You can't really see that much. It's more about what you don't see that's scary. So this happened in 2008 when a man was driving his truck through a gas station and he had a big trailer attached to it. Well the trailer was too tall and it hit the top of the gas station and then this happened. fucking terrifying. You saw the whole ceiling come down and completely crash into the truck. I can't even imagine what that looked like from the inside, and I don't want to, but that's why it's so scary to me. I mean, I've been in situations where I've seen people, you know, crash into something at a gas station or, you know, knock the top of their car on the top of, you know, a parking structure, but I've never seen anything like that. I'm just hoping if anything that showed you guys, always check the height wherever you're driving, whatever parking structure, whatever gas station, always make sure that you can fit into that because it is not worth it to try to squeeze through. Okay, so this next accident actually has a really happy ending and it's fucking crazy. So in this clip, you're gonna see a car crash into a gas station and explode. Then you're gonna see a guy that was standing there rush in and save a person from a burning car. Now the guy was a cop, but he was off duty, but he still was like, you know what, fuck it. I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna save that person. And it's pretty incredible, watch. So just to put it in perspective, if he wouldn't have got that man out of the car, that man would have been in the car when this happened. Yeah, that guy was very, very lucky. Now this next accident is scary because I've done it before. You know when you have the pump in your car and you're doing a million things and you forget and you get back in the car and you start driving away and you're like, oh fuck, and you feel it pull and you're like, the pump is still in there. Well, that happened to this next woman, except she kept driving and then the pump flew back and hit a guy that was standing nearby. It is literally insane, and I had to watch it like five times because it's so fucking crazy. Check it out.
So then over the next few moments, you can see blood pouring out of the guy's head. And then the woman realizes what just happened and she runs back to help the guy. And surprisingly, he's okay. How? I don't know. But that woman is very lucky because if he would have died, that would have been very hard to live with. Now this next accident is really, really heartbreaking. In Colorado, there was an 18-year-old girl who was just pumping her gas when there was a car accident that ended up pinning her against the gas tank and killing her. Now, when she got pinned to the pump, it lit on fire and it burned her alive. Police say an SUV lost control slammed into a pickup which hit the minivan. Both burst into flames. This is the car that the woman was driving that she was actually yelling outside of her, her window saying that her brakes were failing. So she ends up running into this Chevy truck right over here. This truck then gets pushed up against the gas pump which ended up pinning that 18 year old right there against her minivan. Now the fire that burned was massive. Here's just a few pictures of what it looked like. It was completely out of control and there was no way of getting it out in time. Just check out this interview with a man who witnessed the entire thing. It is heartbreaking. So I went to get into the van, and the flames were just, oh, God, it was terrible. There was a young lady that was pinned up against the gas pump in the, the minivan. I don't know if the window was broken out or if they had it rolled down, but she was screaming to help her. She was going to die. 7-Eleven, good gas pumps were engulfed in flames, so I sprinted across the street. That story breaks my heart. I can't even imagine. Just all my thoughts and prayers for the family, and please, please, be more cautious when you're driving. Don't text, don't be distracted, because innocent people could lose their lives. Now, this next story involves a woman who is not innocent, and this one is fucking crazy. So this happened in Jerusalem. A woman walked up to a man who was pumping his gas, and she asked him for a cigarette. The man said no. The woman took her lighter, put it to his gas tank, and lit his fucking car on fire. Check it out. What the fuck? <laughs> Literally, what? For not giving you a cigarette? You light his car on fire? You almost kill yourself? Well, luckily, that woman was thrown in jail, as she should have been. And even more luckily, nobody was hurt. But I just had to include it in this video because it was so fucking crazy to me. <laughs> Speaking of crazy, this next clip is literally like something out of an action movie. So this takes place at a gas station convenience store when a woman outside is in her car and she's backing up. And then she thinks she's in reverse. She presses on the gas and she goes right into the store. It is nuts. Check it out. I mean, that is fucking crazy. First of all, I can't imagine being in that store and just like, here's my Snickers bar, and then pfft. Also, I can't imagine being that girl, like, oh, gotta get home for drag race, and then pfft. Crazy. Now, surprisingly, once again, nobody was hurt, nobody was killed, thank God, and that could have been way worse than it was. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about a couple urban legends that involve gas stations. Now, I don't know if you've heard this or not, but there's a theory that you shouldn't talk on your phone while you're pumping gas, because something with the phone and electronic waves or whatever can actually spark a fire and blow you up. Well, then this accident happened, which made people think that was true. So in Brazil in 2007, a man was working at a gas station, and he was walking on top of the truck, and he was like trying to see something. Well, it was really dark, so supposedly he took out his phone to kind of shine a light on it, and then this happened. I know, very, very intense. Well, actually, after some investigating, the police realized that it wasn't the phone that caused the fire, he was also holding a lighter. And unfortunately, that man did die three days later from all of the burns. So that doesn't really prove the phone legend. There's been no other cases of phones causing fires. But this next accident involves another urban legend, which is that static electricity can cause a fire. Now, you'll see this girl in the video getting out of her car, kind of rubbing her hands on her sweater. Well, supposedly, when she did that, she caused some static electricity to get in there. And when she touched the gas tank, this happened. Yeah, she did not have a lighter on her. That one was purely because she touched her sweater. So that legend is true. So here are a few tips for you to avoid static electricity fires at gas stations, which happen a lot. Number one, do not get in and out of your car while you're pumping gas. I know it's tempting to like open up your car door, and look at your phone, or talk to the people inside. Don't do that. That is causing static electricity. Number two, before you go back to touch the gas pump, touch a metal surface. Touch your car, touch the metal surface on the gas station. Anything with your bare hand, that will stop the static electricity from spreading. 
Number three, if a fire does start while your gas pump is in your car, do not take out the gas pump. Leave it there. Every static electricity accident that has resulted in death is because the person takes the pump out and it just explodes. Well, there you guys go. Those are some of the crazy accidents that happen at gas stations and also some tips that hopefully helped you guys out. And once again, I say this at the end of every video, but I really do mean it. I do not mean any disrespect to the family members, of anybody that lost anybody in any of these videos. I just really enjoy this twisted kind of dark stuff and I know a lot of you guys do too, so I do not mean to offend anybody watching. Well, there you guys go. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you want more videos like this, give me a thumbs up so I know. And make sure to subscribe to my channel right down below because I make new videos every single day. And if you want to see more videos where I talk about crazy deaths, I've done deaths at malls, amusement parks, a bunch of other places, I'll put a link to a playlist right at the top of the description below. All right, you guys, I will see you tomorrow. Be safe. Bye. How did you do that? You're, you're just like really good at that. Like, Look at that piece. You're alarmingly good at getting food on a fork. <laughs>